welcome to everyone taking time out of their day to join me for Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide solely non-medical care for our clients of the same quality we'd provide that care for a loved one. As Alzheimer's awareness increases and more people have exposure or a connection to someone living with brain change, a question that many ask is, how do I know if I have Alzheimer's? There are 10 warning signs to watch out for to help identify memory, thinking, or behavior changes that are out of the ordinary for most people. While having one or more of these symptoms doesn't mean that you have a diagnosis of Alzheimer's, a conversation should be started with your physician in the event that something else might be going on. Our first sign is memory loss that disrupts daily life. This means forgetting important dates and events, repeatedly asking the same questions over and over, um, or relying on memory aids more frequently, like reminder notes, calendars. This is different from occasionally forgetting information as part of normal aging, because someone who's living with brain change won't necessarily be able to recall the information at a later point. Our second sign is challenges in planning or problem solving. Sometimes people lose the ability to develop or follow a plan, They may not be able to manage their finances anymore, while an age-related change would be making an error every so often when managing bills. Our third sign is difficulty completing familiar tasks. This is different from our previous sign because this is specific towards trouble with routine situations. An example would be getting lost while driving to a familiar location or forgetting the rules to a game that's played on a regular basis. With normal aging, it's common to need help with something like recording a TV show, using a new streaming system, but you're still able to follow the instructions given. Our fourth sign is confusion with time or place. Someone who's living with Alzheimer's may lose track of time, dates, and seasons. If something isn't happening right in the moment, someone may be confused about where they are or how they got there. Typical aging might present as forgetting what day of the week it is, but being able to recall what day it is later. Our fifth sign is trouble understanding visual images and spatial relationships. Some people with Alzheimer's may have problems with vision, which can lead to things like poor balance or instability, compromised depth perception, and even determining color and contrast. A vision change like cataracts is part of normal aging for some. Our sixth sign is new problems with words and speaking or writing. Sometimes for people living with Alzheimer's, they may have trouble following a conversation, they may easily lose their train of thought, or start using more descriptive words for certain objects, like calling a watch a hand clock. With normal aging, you might forget a word here and there, but you can still recall it after a period of time. Our seventh sign is misplacing things and losing the ability to retrace your steps. This sign often causes the most concern for some people. Just because you've misplaced your keys doesn't mean that there should be panic. Someone who's living with Alzheimer's may put an object somewhere, like leaving a pair of sunglasses by the back door because they got distracted, but that person would not be able to retrace their steps to find where they left those sunglasses. With normal aging, people can go back into their memory of what they were doing before losing the item and then be able to figure out where that item was left. This warning sign can also create an increase in suspicion for someone living with Alzheimer's, and they may become accusatory towards others of stealing things that are being misplaced. Our eighth sign is decreased or poor judgment. Someone with Alzheimer's may lack good judgment when it comes to dealing with money or managing their personal hygiene, especially if they live by themselves. Making a bad decision every so often, like forgetting to get an oil change or refilling the windshield wiper fluid on your car is more of a typical age-related change. Our ninth sign is withdrawal from work or social activities. So if you think back to the sign about trouble with words, this sign tends to go hand in hand. Often when people are experiencing brain change, they may become self-conscious about the difficulty that they have when following a conversation. Because of this, they may be less likely to find themselves in a social setting, which can result in a lack of confidence and even increased isolation. Our 10th and last sign is changes in mood or personality. Someone who's living with Alzheimer's may become anxious, suspicious, confused, or even agitated throughout their journey. You may notice someone becoming um, easily irritated when they're out of their comfort zone or if they experience a slight disruption to their routine. 
If you or a loved one are experiencing any of these 10 warning signs, make sure to speak with your physician right away. Not everyone may end up with a diagnosis of a cognitive impairment. There could be something else going on like an infection, depression, or something else affecting the brain. For more information on Alzheimer's resources, make sure to visit your local Alzheimer's Association chapter by going to www.alz.org, or you can contact our office at 860-533-9343. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Always Best Care has been providing solely non-medical in-home care since 2009. If you're interested in learning more about our services or our assisted living selection services, please give us a call at 860-533-9343 or you can visit our website at www.abc centralct.com. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram too, so that we can show you how better options for senior living are a priority.